I spent over 1,500 legendary commander sculptures in Rise of Kingdoms, and in this video, we're going to be talking about why I invested where I did. What's going on, guys? It's OmniArc. Cheers. Now, look, I, I know what you're thinking, okay? I know what you're thinking. This screenshot says 1,450, and the title and thumbnail say 1,000. This screenshot was taken April 5th, okay? So, in that time, we've had a Wheel of Fortune. We got, obviously, you guys saw Harold was on the wheel, and I just did this was the latest uh, screenshot that I had, okay? But trust me when I say I've spent over 1500 legendary commander sculptures and you're gonna believe me when you see what i have i feel like i've never really done like an account update video right that just i don't know i feel like things happen so slowly in this game and they happen over time right so it's like a gradual change but in this instance i actually did do a lot in a short period of time so i want to cover everything okay so since i actually did my big spending you can see here i have 88 universal legendary commander sculptures left so let's see what what did i spend all of these legendary commander sculptures on and then we're also going to talk about some equipment that i forged and i think that's really important too so i'm going to just slowly scroll up here okay we're going to slowly scroll up and we're going to reveal these things over time everybody knows i've been working on my guan yu for the longest time okay guan yu is an extremely good legendary commander in this game very powerful as a infantry legendary and of course your boy got him to 5255 five, five. now i was banking on the skill lock feature to get him to 5155 five, but as luck happens as luck turns out okay i got pretty close all right i got pretty close i maxed out this first skill and then i like i got both of these to, it was like five one three three and then it was like five one three five and then it was like five two three five and then the last points went in the second one so we're, we're or the third one we're good so we're good uh everybody knows that this second skill is really only good for rallying right which of course guan yu is actually good for and there have been some instances in my current kvk where i wished that he was expertise so i could use him to his full potential but is it really worth 235 extra legendary commander sculptures just to get a little bit of normal attack damage bonus and that 15 percent an additional 15 percent i just I don't think so right yeah of course you get the expertise as well which is only applies when you get shields i just don't feel like that would have changed the, the the tide of war for my alliance or my kingdom right so i don't know i don't know if i'll be expertise in guan soon i feel like i got pretty lucky with his skill distribution and again that would just be like a really micro optimization for a rally combo and i, I don't know I, it just doesn't again 235 legendaries i could get like a 5511 leonidas for that i could get pretty close to a 5551 like william or something or saladin right so there's just way more places that i think those sculptures will be useful and so i think that i've settled pretty happily on a five two five five so that's guan yu i've already been using him in canyon sunset canyon lost canyon open field fighting and he is a beast i've found that he has pretty good synergy i don't know if, if you're gonna believe me or not pretty good synergy with charles martel okay because here's the thing I want to pair you you think of Guan you think of like open field fighting you're dealing a ton of skill damage right AoE damage he's insane for that stuff which is which is a hundred percent true but when you're in a big open field battle Guan Yu isn't really the tankiest commander on the field right so you would instinctively think oh pair him with somebody like Yi Song Ye right because then you're just doing a ton of AoE damage you've got that synergy you got the skill damage bonus right it, it's it's insane right and you would think that but the problem is when you pair Guan Yu with other high skill damage low defensive commanders like Isong or some of the other commanders we're going to be talking about in this video they tend to get melted pretty fast right they just tend to die really quick you're going to get swarmed down okay you're going to get swarmed down people love to swarm down the guan yu so i found that when i pair him with charles martel if he gets swarmed at least i'm getting that extra counter attack damage bonus and we're also getting that shield we're getting that additional damage for four seconds a 30 percent increased damage plus a ton of really nice stats for infantry right we're getting health and defense those are like the best stats for infantry especially because guan has so much attack right he has insane amounts of attack points here so he really lacks on those other on those other stats and charles martel is there for you so sure he's not going to deal as much damage as if you paired him with somebody like alexander for example but i have other uses for alexander okay the reason for that is because we're going to scroll up here and who do we have well 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 boys and girls kings and queens ladies and gentlemen we have two two 
expertise legendary commanders guys i want you to drop a comment down below pog champ in the comment section so beautiful so so beautiful let's talk first about harold because harold is an absolute axe wielding madman harold is incredible okay he's dealing a ton of damage factor in the open field especially when he's surrounded so you may be thinking omni why don't you do a guan yu primary harold secondary well the problem with that is like guan yu doesn't like to be swarmed right he doesn't like to be swarmed harold does like to be swarmed but only if he survives it and guan is not really doing anything to per, to, to give you any survivability in those swarming scenarios so even though he's providing that counterattack damage just like martel martel just has the defense and health to really keep guan yu alive and harold just has more attack right so in a perfect world if you're not going to get swarmed down too easily then yes a guan harold is an insane combo right? it's really Really, really good but if you're in a giant open field brawl i just feel like i'd rather have three marches that are just rock solid on their own rather than a couple of glass cannons if that makes sense so what i've been testing out and guys these are new commanders that i have okay so i'm still testing all of these things out and I'm, of course i'm watching youtube videos and all the things that everybody else does when they get new legendary commanders but what i've been doing is you know we're doing a guan with a charles and i'm doing an alex primary with herald secondary okay now i know alex isn't as tanky as like Richard or Martel. So it may be a little bit harder for him to keep Harold alive, but I still think there's a lot of great synergy there. Of course, he does have that shield, which is really nice. And when that shields up, he does get a nice defense bonus that you don't get when you have a Guan Harold combination. Plus you have the attack tree on Alex as a primary commander. And that means when you get surrounded, you're going to be generating even more rage, which is what you want with this combo. You want a ton of shields. You want a ton of Harold's active skill going off because there's already going to be going off a crazy amount of times guys just watch how many axes come out of a herald when he's in the open field if you have the if you have graphics set to a high amount you come in here i noticed that if you have your graphics set to medium or low you're not going to see every single axe that a herald actually throws if it's set to medium you only see his axe when it rocks which is weird and when it's on low obviously you don't see any so you got to have his you got to have these graphics all the way up but you're going to see a ton of axes just flying everywhere with Harold. and if you're again if you're surrounded in the open field with alex Harold, you get that rage regen it's there's just a lot to love okay there's a lot to love i like this pairing for right now if i find something better of course i'll let you guys know then for my third pairing i'm, I'm doing a, a richard with esong right because i still think that that's just like the most tanky pairing that you can have for your esong and you're kind of like you're going to sort of be left alone with your Richard, but also Esong's going to do some work, right? And Esong brings the damage that Richard is, is lacking. So I think those three marches have been really solid for me. Like those have been, I've been really confident with those three marches. If one of them gets caught in the open field, then it's like, you know, I know that they're still relatively tanky and I'll get decent trades. Again, the idea is to just not have glass cannons to get melted down quickly. You kind of want to, I, I personally, this is my theory is I want to have, you know, a little bit of both worlds. Let's talk about Zenobia. Okay because we talked a lot about the other troop compositions Zenobia is truthfully a commander that I have expertise a little bit prematurely okay my Alliance did one uh, another Zenobia member in the in the Alliance and I was one of the only players who had enough legendary commander sculptures to expertise her while still placing lower in the mightiest governor event so yeah I was guaranteed a Zenobia I got 20 sculptures of her it wasn't that you know it wasn't great but it is what it is I was able to expertise her now for the moment I'm pairing her with Charles Martel and I'm getting like, you know, average results. It's fine, right? We're going up against really powerful players right now in KVK and you know, the results could be better. I'm seeing a, a ton of insane pairings with Zenobia YSS and it's absolutely ridiculous. So I think the fact that I've gone all the way to expertise with Zenobia means I pretty much should definitely expertise YSS in the near future because you know there's no point in expertising a garrison commander like Zenobia if you're not going to expertise another insanely good garrison pair with her right because I, if you don't then it's kind of just a waste right so for right now I, I have Zenobia and Martel it's fine it doesn't really deal that much damage that's the biggest problem and I think I think that's way uh, that's where YSS is just so so good as a secondary with Zenobia and of course there's other reasons why he's just insane obviously in your garrison if 
if you take a look at his skills when fewer of 50 re units remain you get 20 percent increased damage which is really what you need and wick gaming actually made a really good video describing how this uh, actually works and it's way better than you think it is so i recommend you go ahead and check out his channel you guys probably know him he makes great content but if you haven't seen his videos again definitely check them out. So YSS is probably going to be expertise very soon. I am extremely low on legendary commander sculptures right at the moment, which is unfortunate because I had so many for so long, but yeah, it's been really nice having Zenobia and feeling like I can actually contribute in some way in war. Now I have been extremely busy as well in the past week or two weeks with work. I'm working a ton. Plus I've got other things going on behind the scenes when it comes to this YouTube channel. So your boy has been busy. Okay. Let's Let's take a look at some of the things that we've crafted because I'm sure you guys see the little golden no notch right here on Guan Yu's belt. That's it's it's not it's a cloak. Okay, it's a cloak. I, th I think I might have shown this off in a previous video, but the Hope Cloak got the special talent, boys and girls. Let's freaking go! 16% infantry defense is huge when you consider the fact that the alternative is a special talent that gives you a attack which if you've seen the commanders i'm using in this video you know that attack is really not what we're lacking okay guan yu's got a ton of attack we've got a herald tons of attack right we've got tons of attack on him alexander's got plenty of attack to go around as well so you really for those primary commanders you don't really need attack too much right so having guan and just putting this insanely good piece of equipment on him is awesome but it's also been great on zenobia of course having these golden pieces of equipment on zenobia has been great now shield's return is like whatever right you know if we go ahead and we check out a special talented frost treads that gives you seven and a half percent this gives you eight percent but it's a legendary it's really not great okay let's just be real here it's really not that great of course it does give you some nice benefit if your city is attacked because you get that extra health from archers whereas the alternative here is damage to barb so there's you know it's a slight difference but realistically speaking shields returns really not that worth it if you can get an expert or a, a special talent frost treads calm down guan calm down okay so we're building up our golden collection here which is really nice let's move on over to Alex because Alex has the silent trial let's go everybody silent trial is a new piece of equipment that I crafted when we did get it from whatever that event was that the Easter event I don't remember what 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 event was this where you got this yeah I think it was the Easter event you got a free blueprint and I picked silent trial if you guys are going to compare silent trial to the uh what is this called the Delane's amulet I think Silent Trial is probably a little bit of a, a bit of a better choice, to be honest with you. They're both great, and I do when I, of course, you know, Zenobia Garrison, you put both of them on there because why not? Um, but yeah, Silent Trial, really nice. I'm glad that I finally have one of each of these uh, accessories, which is cool. Of course, accessories are where my account is really lacking the most, honestly. But it is what it is, as they say, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I want to talk a little bit more about why I, ex I why I invested the way that I did, right? Because obviously, you know, you know why I got. Zenobia. KVK is here. My alliance asked me to, you know, expertise her. I did. It is what it is. They needed it and we're fine. Eventually I was going to get her anyway, so it, it doesn't really matter. But let's talk about Herald and Guan, right? I couldn't get the 5155 Guan that I wanted. And I was on the fence about Herald, honestly, because I, I've seen insanely good reports and I've also seen like not that impressive reports, right? And I think the problem is with these new KVK formats, it's just really hard to tell who's winning because of the pairing matchup or who's winning because of the tech difference right now of course if you're looking at reports from like the top 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 tier players then you have a good idea that okay everybody's tech is like completely juiced out right so that's a different story but you know there's always going to be reports floating around there of like great ones good ones bad ones whatever um and Harold, you know i've just i've seen some good i've seen some bad it, i don't know but i i decided to go with it because I think that when we see the new garrison commander Yadviga, did I say that? I don't know. I'm so sorry if I messed that up a second time. But anyway, when we see her come into the game, obviously she's a garrison commander. I think she's going to be used. Okay. Honestly, my initial thoughts of her were kind of like less than stellar. Like she just seemed like whatever. But you know, when you really think about it, I think there's going to be a place for her, right? I think her place is going to be potentially countering archer rallies potentially we'll have to wait and see we'll have to see how that goes but a cavalry garrison it just makes sense that they would be able to counter some 
archer rallies what that means is when she's in a flag expecting an archer rally you suddenly have a really good reason to hit them suddenly with a guan herald right and so while we are seeing a lot of attila takeda right and Ramses, nebu those types of of rallies are really popular right now right a lot of cavalry a lot of archers especially right now i decided to invest in an infantry rally pair because i think i think my prediction is that once we start to see uh a cavalry garrison then th now there's a trio right now there's a trio if cavalry garrison effectively counters nebu and the other archer rally pairs or combinations then we suddenly have the trio and i don't think we've ever really seen that in rise of kingdoms history i can't remember a time where there was a rally combination from every troop type that was viable i just can't think of a time right because back you know way back in the day i wasn't super invested in the game when the game first came out you know kvk1 kvk2 even it was kind of i couldn't you know i don't really know i wasn't really paying too much attention and then until it came out and that was the meta forever until we started to see like ramsey's rallies and then we when nebu came out and then it's like okay now we're really cooking with gas when it comes to archer rallies but if there's a counter to those archer rallies then i think we're going to start to see a need for a strong infantry rally as well and who better than guan Harold, just who's better than that right and of course you know you could obviously do like an alex herald or something along those lines because then it's a little bit harder to swarm down so there's other pairings involved here but i think herald is going to be a part of a lot of those powerful infantry rallies and that's why i went ahead and invested in him and then of course guan is just guan right like he's just good in open fields period he's great in canyon all that stuff so that's why these two investments i think are good for the long run because i think we're going to see you know and again that this is all dependent on whether or not she can sustain a rally from nebu if she can then we're good to go that means that infantry is going to see an increase in rallies however the only caveat to this is that perhaps she will lose to attila takeda right i mean like attila takeda people keep forgetting that attila takeda is like actually insanely good still like it's actually insanely good still right even against like a zenobia martel like you can still go decently positive with an attila takeda if it's like decked out and reinforced right so people keep forgetting about that so i think attila takeda could probably counter this i, I don't know we'll, we'll have to wait and see right so that may kind of make my whole point like pointless with with investing in infantry rally combos at this point but regardless all these commanders are insanely good in the open field and you know zenobia has her own uses set aside from the whole guan herald alex debate so that's where we are that's where we're at with the account we only have 88 universal legendary commander sculptures left it's a sad day boys and girls i haven't been this low in probably like a year so who knows but i'm gonna be i guess saving these up for yss because that's really the next logical investment for me it seems and then after that we'll see how what's next okay i'm really thinking that i'm gonna do a saladin william afterwards because then i'll at least have another decent uh march in the open field that's not infantry heavy so i can start using those calves right um so we'll have to see i don't know i did eventually summon trajan so he is he's good i just don't know if i have the sculptures to invest in him really you know what i mean uh so it is what it is a lot of people have been telling me to get a 5511 leo as well because it's just a cheap investment and it would just pair with all my other really great investments for uh infantry but who knows guys you'll have to stay tuned to find out how about that <laughs> um if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton and it helps the youtube algorithm get this video in front of other rise of kingdoms players so it again it, it's the best way to support my channel is dropping a thumbs up on these videos and of course subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and click the bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video as always my social media links are in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on instagram twitter discord all that other stuff it's always down below as well as a link to download rise of kingdoms absolutely for free for your pc or your mac it's a program called blue stacks and it's my favorite way to play rise of kingdoms especially in kvk man it's just much better having a giant screen it really is in my opinion that's that's just me i think the big screen helps me a ton and again the program is free if you don't like it you could just delete it it is what it is but the link is down below with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace